now. It's considered the ultimate honor reserved only for the biggest names in film and music, a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, now Camden Town is getting a slice of Tinseltown with its very own Walk of Fame. Amy Winehouse and Madness could join the likes of Billie Holiday and Frank Sinatra by having their names set in stone. Wendy Hurrell has the story. It's said there's nowhere in the world that has started more scenes in music than Camden Town, from glam rock to Brit pop, from the grassroots to the biggest names. So today, it's still the sort of place you can find the next big band in a basement. See Tom Jones playing to 80 people in a pub, or Paul McCartney playing to 800. And now, this heritage will be set in stone. Literally under our feet, this summer, discs bearing the names of musical luminaries will start to appear in the pavement, much like the ones on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. And in fact, the two will be officially associated. Camden's walk will begin at the Roundhouse. The Doors, Pink Floyd, Amy Winehouse, um, Jimi Hendrix, they would be the obvious people to pot here. It's a hotbed of creativity and always has been, you know, dating back to the 50s onwards when many scenes started here. We're in Chalk Farm at the moment and this will extend eventually down to Mornington Crescent where people will be encouraged to, to start the, you know, the walk of fame in that area. Get back for musicians such as James Walsh, frontman for the band Star Sailor, Camden's always been alluring. Camden's just uh, a bit of a mecca for, for myself kind of growing up in the north of England. It took on this sort of mythical status so when we did our first showcase at the Barfly it was like incredible, a, a dream come true really. Amy Winehouse of course is a front runner along with Soul to Soul and Madness all with strong links to Camden but how do you decide? What we're looking to do is to become the number one accolade in music. So what we've done is divide um, the awards up into five different categories. Um, and those are icons, innovators, influencers, unsung heroes and um, industry as well. Who gets a disc will be decided by committee, critics and fellow musicians. We will get a say too. It's a tough choice, I know, but who gets your vote? I'd have to go for Richie Blackmore because he inspired me to play guitar. I love them, so absolutely stranglers. I think I'd have Bob Marley, just because I've always loved his music since I was really young. Well, I grew up the sound of Frank Sinatra and kind of croning, so I'm going to have to say Frank Sinatra. International artists at home in Camden, the rock and roll capital of the world, soon to be recognised permanently. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.